Okay. Here we go. Um, spiritual speakers. I'm reading and walking y'all. Listeners, operators. And when I say operators, I mean you have operated in the realm. You know without a shadow of a doubt that you're supposed to operate. Uh, you've operated and done it right, done it wrong. I'm talking to you. You know of what the spiritual realm is. You've heard of the word spiritual realm but didn't know that's what it was and I'm saying it this way because in the ministries we don't teach about the spiritual realm okay and so uh, a lot of people didn't know that's what it was called We've, I've heard the word dimension uh, dimensions I've, I've heard the word uh, different levels uh, different parts uh, I've heard God's way and the wheels Okay, just trying to give you a few uh, uh, different ways of saying it so you know who, who I'm talking to. Um, you've heard assignments. You've heard scenarios. Uh, the phrase, These phrases I'm about to say here make sense to you. I said the same thing. This is a crying shame. Nope. Well, mm, yep. Um, you got to know that's not okay. You heard not too long ago. I want to say maybe a month or so ago for a long time um a lot of laughing now remember that laughing uh made a few people upset if you remember if I, I recall correctly but that was a weapon being used to confuse the enemy because there were a lot of people operating in the realm that had not repented and so it was causing uh uh fear and so to confuse the enemy, the laughter lightened the atmosphere and then it manifested naturally and then people were not afraid and fearful. Um, but if I have said something that brings back memory or said something to you that says, oh, I need to listen, I need you to get to an apostolic ministry immediately. Um, a five-fold ministry, Okay. And when I say that, I'm referring to, uh, there are a couple of churches that I can name right off. And I'm going to be careful because I don't want to um, <laughs> name, name them and, and not have spoken with them. So let me say it this way. Google um, Apostolics Churches. Let me say it that way because I want to get permission from them first before I just put their names, put their uh, information out there, okay? Um, and then some may not be ready to have that uh, uh, setting yet, you know, during their Sunday school or their uh, Tuesday night uh, Bible study. So let me first look. But I want you to start looking yourself and Googling yourself to find a ministry to go to. Talk with the pastor. And if they have that available, great. If not, inbox me, and then I'll just have to get a building because right now I don't have a building. It's time to educate you on what this thing really is. Um how do you know if it's an apostolic ministry? The pastor's name will say apostle or it'll say apostolic ministry on the building. So uh, uh, and they believe in apostles because you have some ministries that don't teach that, y'all. But it's real. It's real. I grew up churching God in Christ and I'm called to this thing. And I, for the last, I want to say almost two years now, it's it's been something more than what I uh, I knew of. OK. Now, when you get to this ministry, um, they will help you uh, cult cultivate your gift. They'll actually probably help cultivate it for you. But at the same time, you need to be doing that. And so you'll know how to help the next person um, guide you, cover you, because that has to happen in this ministry. Um, man, if I could tell you some of the things that I myself have gone through uh, and, and had to be covered by my spiritual friends. And it's, it, and I say that and it sounds funny, but that's true and real. That's just a, tr a strategic way of, of naming them because before I start putting names of people out there, I want to get permission and get things signed. But you got to go to an apostolic ministry seriously and begin to ask questions. This is not a joke. Uh, and I laugh just to keep the atmosphere light because some people are fearful and saying, don't say that. And well, they're not supposed to know. And But knowing, not knowing is fear. And, and you, that's bondage. How can you live free when you don't understand? So, um... Let's see what else. Oh, we want to make sure that your gifts that you have are not being manipulated. And the fact that you're new 
um, is not something that people take advantage of because they will. I know I've experienced it, okay? Um, let's see what else. Da, 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 da. If you inbox me and you need a place to go and get just get educated on this, I will uh, point you in the direction of a few churches after I've talked with them talk with them and made sure that uh you know they want you there and it's ready and available uh to have these type of conversations okay now on your own just know you're gonna have to google go and ask and be careful how you word it and just say do you have a spiritual realm ministry they say no you say god bless you and then move on let's see what am i leaving out uh, so that means um, apostles, um, apostolic ministries, apostles that don't even carry, carry the name. It's time for us to get it together and begin to do what it is that God has for us to do. I want to make sure that you're not confused. If you're thinking of uh, speaking in unknown tongues, uh, that's referenced in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And then uh, to referenced in more detail in First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1, when it talks about the tongues of men and tongues of angels. I'm not talking about tongues of angels. I'm not talking about together the divers of tongues, then together, which is mentioned again in First Corinthians chapter 12. I am speaking of a different type of spiritual speaking, okay? Um, I want to make sure I hit it all. And one more thing. If you notice that you are really, really good at something. Uh, you speak very well. Uh, your thoughts normally come together and whatever you speak and say, it, it normally flows. If you're experiencing a lot of hesitation, um, get to an apostolic ministry so they can explain to you exactly what that is, okay? Um, it could be error. It could be an attack. And I'm not talking about a demon because a lot of people have labeled that, oh, they got a demon. No, that's not a demon. That's a mistake. And so uh, it could be somebody new. Okay, so this thing is real. And it's God sent, y'all. It is, it's God, y'all. It is real. And um, I'm excited that... His glory is going to hit this place in a way that it has never hit before. Holiness is real, y'all. Holiness is right. They didn't lie to us. They didn't lie to us. They didn't lie. It's real. He's real. And we give him all the praise and all the glory. Father, we thank you right now for this time and opportunity to just talk and not be afraid. Because fear is torment. Cover us. Give us the plan. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you. I love you.